a very interesting point about a simple harmonic motion is that it can be considered as a projection of a uniform circular motion. That is, a uniform circular motion when viewed sideways is a simple harmonic motion. We can also consider a simple harmonic motion to be a shadow of a uniform circular motion. Let us say that the angular speed of a particle moving along a circular path of radius a is equal to omega. If the particle starts from this position, then after time t, its angular displacement will be equal to omega t and this distance x will be equal to a sin omega t, which is in fact the equation of an SHM, as omega is a measure of the angular displacement per second. So, omega can also be considered as the angular frequency in the context of an SHM. If instead of starting from this position, the particle starts from such a position, then the position of the particle after time t will be equal to a into sin of this angle, that is omega t plus phi. This angle represents the phase constant of a simple harmonic motion. When we say that two simple harmonic motions have a phase difference of phi, this means that their corresponding circular motions are separated by the initial angle phi. For the phase difference of phi by 2, the situation is as shown. If one SHM starts from the mean position, then the other SHM, which is ahead by a phase of pi by 2, will start from the extreme position. That is, if this SHM follows a sine function, then the other will follow a cosine function. This is evident if we write phi equal to pi by 2 in this equation, because then this term will be equal to cos omega t. Similarly, a phase difference of pi will be like this. In general, the graph of an SHM that is ahead by a phase phi can be obtained by shifting this graph towards left. 